In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys several Maya scripts and plugins that can definitely enhance your modeling workflow. From creating curves, holes, boolean operations, creating terrains, and all sorts of hard surface modeling and other difficult modeling tasks inside Maya. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Before we continue, I wanted to let you know guys, especially Maya users, if you need Maya plugins and scripts for modeling, retopology, rigging, animation, rendering, you name it, you will find a list of the best stuff in the description of this video. For example, for retopology, you can use a plugin like Zrail that allows you to create polygons on sculpted surfaces in a beautiful way. And if you want to do some hard surface modeling, you can take a look at plugins like Mod It, Plug It, and Stamp It, which will allow you to create complex hard surface models like robots, weapons, or anything else of this kind. For animation, I highly recommend the Pavel Barnav animation scripts because they are just amazing and they are used by many VFX and game development studios. For simulation and effects, you can use some of the best tools like Fume Effects for fire, smoke, and explosions, Pull Down It for destruction effects, and Ornatrix for hair and fur. So I highly recommend you check out these tools because it will save you a ton of time and headaches, but it will also support this channel. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with GS Curve Tools, which is a great plugin for creating and manipulating geometry cards and tubes, which is great for workflows ranging from hair cards to braided cables. And I think its magic lies in quickly generated node networks that enable natural geometry manipulation. And I have to tell you that when it comes to making hair, this plugin can be a game changer because it allows you to swiftly create new hair cards, convert curves, and tweak parameters. And this tool also comes with a couple of advanced features like twisting and changing width at any point on the curve, also wrapping multiple cards and tubes with one curve. It also allows you to smooth, extend, or reduce curves and control multiple curves with a control curve deformer, all from a custom window for curve controls. And from the same developer, we have GS Toolbox which is, I think, a must-have collection of tools designed to fill gaps in the native modeling tools of Maya and provide you quick access to existing features. In a nutshell, this toolbox allows you to quickly group objects and components using 20 interactive group slots, allowing for easy selection, hiding, or locking in a short period of time. And from what I can see, this ease of use extends to features like fast angle based at selection, creasing, and beveling. In addition, it allows you to create procedural and editable linear and radial arrays and fill holes with quads even on curved surfaces, which is incredibly useful. And to make things even better, there are options for mirroring, flipping, instancing with a mirror, and deleting by symmetry. And other tools like snapping, so I highly recommend this one. Another interesting one in today's video is called Gen Tools Collection, which is kind of an essential collection set of tools and scripts designed to boost your workflow speed and efficiency. For starters, it offers a large collection, including all individual Gen Tools, along with many additional and bonus tools and features. Among its notable features is the non-destructive bevel, which keeps your original object intact even after modifications with booleans, and it integrates seamlessly into the Maya's viewport via a pie menu. And another handy tool is called Normal Toolkit, which allows you to process normals, smart bevel objects with face-weighted vertex normals. And with it, you can transfer vertex normals between objects, which can be really interesting. And we can't forget about the placement tool, which enables the interactive placement of objects on any polygonal mesh and can create primitive shapes directly on these surfaces. And with the curve to polygons, you can convert paths to polygon tubes, extrude curves, and generate curve paths from tube geometry using a wire deformer. Now let's talk about a plugin called GN Quad Fill Hole, which does a very specific task, but it is incredibly useful. First thing is the force offset option, which ensures an offset is always applied to the quad fill hole, leading to better results in tricky situations. 
It also includes the alternative action option, and this feature allows you to choose an alternative operation when filling a quad hole isn't possible, providing you with flexibility in complex situations. Following that, you have the Add Inset option, which allows you to add an inset to the filled hole, with a slider to control its size, giving you precise control over the fill. And last but not least, we have Offset, which lets you shift the quad filled hole by one unit. And this one can help achieve a more optimal result in some particular cases. And from the same developer, we also have GM projection components to live surface. And this one lets you project polygon components and curved CVs in any direction you choose. And it offers a couple of key features. First, you have the project to closest point if ray misses option. So if the ray doesn't hit the live object, the components will be projected to the closest point on it, ensuring your projection always lands accurately. And next is the surface offset option which has an offset to the projected components, making them float above the live object rather than sitting directly on it, which is great for creating layered effects. And it also has a feature called Preserve UVs, which offsets UVs to prevent texture wrapping when components are moved, making sure your textures remain intact and visually pleasant. Now, let me tell you about KD Modeling Toolset, which is a collection of useful tools that will help you save both your time and sanity when modeling. With over 30 tools and functions, this plugin, generally speaking, contains tools like dot loop selection for efficient edge selection, bevel vortex for rounding corner vertices, and enhanced pivot tools for precise control. Plus, you can enjoy other advanced features like quad corner connect, straight and edge loops, and grow by angle for even more versatility. The modeling tool set also includes some must-have tools like KT Hole Puncher and KT Poly Panel Extract, making it a great solution for some modeling tasks. Next, let's talk about a specific modeling issue, which is bridging, with an add-on with a plugin called Bridge Pro. In a nutshell, this plugin is dedicated to automating the process of bridging and filling any holes in your edges and faces so you can finally say goodbye to that manual and tedious process. And it works by seamlessly connecting edge loops with smart and adaptive features which works for all sorts of shapes and geometry types. Whether you need a triangle bridge or a non-bridge, this plugin I think can do it. Plus, it functions just like the fill hole tool, making it incredibly versatile and simple to use. And talking about ease of use, to install it, all you have to do is place the bridgepro.py, and I'm talking about the file, you just need to place it in your Maya plugin folder, and then enable it in the plugin manager. The next one is also a simple but useful plugin, which is called Maya Script for Reconstruction and Subdivision. If you ever applied subdivision to your meshes, and wanted to go back to the original state, then you are kind of screwed because you can't do that using the native tools within Maya. And this is exactly where the add-on comes in, which can be a great tool for reversing subdivisions of your models. And it works by allowing you to return a subdivided high poly model to its previous and smooth state, making it easier to edit, refine, and model much more flexibly instead of having to deal with all that extra geometry, which I think makes it a mess to deal with. To top it off, this plugin is compatible with Maya versions from 2016 to 2023, which ensures that you can use it even if you have an older version. In addition to this, we have a tool set of plugins called CGA Modeling Tools, which can be great for different modeling needs and it offers quite a bit of tools. So let me tell you a little bit about it. First up, with dynamic boolean, you can interactively boolean multiple meshes, making your workflow become a lot more visual and saving you valuable time. You also have auto merge too, which simplifies the process of connecting or deleting vertices, and all you have to do is just drag and release to make precise adjustments in just seconds. And I can't forget about the mesh combiner too, which allows you to merge multiple meshes into one with ease. But generally speaking, this plugin offers much more than that, so I highly recommend you take a look at it and see for yourself. Last but not least, we have Easy Terrain. This one can be a great script that lets you create beautiful procedural terrains in a short period of time. You can generate complex landscapes using a variety of tools. All you have to do 
is to simply create a plane and start customizing it. Next, just add maps from the pre-made selection or import your own to sculpt the terrain to your liking. This plugin enables fine-tuning of your terrain with fall-off ramps to control coverage areas and ramps to adjust heights for different regions. And you can visualize your design with the water plane feature and use the paint tool to add rivers or custom erosions for added realism. In addition, this plugin offers more subdivision adjustments, allowing you to refine your terrain at any moment in your process. Finally, you have a new shader, which adds another layer of depth, enabling you to color your terrain based on the height or direction. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in one of these scripts and plugins, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.